It's a privilege to be with you all this afternoon and to discuss the important work being done around the globe to help those most in need and the meaningful roles that technology and national research and education networks, or NRENs, are playing in those efforts. I wish to offer some reflections on the importance of this work, on why we engage in it, and what more we all can do. At Georgetown, we come to this work within the context of a university. Fundamentally and, and historically, the ethos of the university, the characteristic spirit, is to seek the betterment of humankind. In a global context, betterment brings us into the work of human development and our topic today. I've had the chance over the last couple of years of entering the orbit of Father Peter and Jesuit refugee services, particularly through an important collaboration with an organization called Jesuit Commons Higher Education at the Margins, J.C. Hem. And J.C. Hem offers online higher education courses to more than 500 refugees at this moment in Malawi, in Kenya, and in Jordan. We have faculty and staff who have taught J.C. Hem courses and staff members who serve in advisory capacities on legal and information technology issues, as well as the donation of books, materials, and equipment such as Kindle readers. And at Georgetown, we also come to this work from the context of our Catholic and Jesuit tradition to identify the greatest need in the world and then to meet it. St. Ignatius and the earliest Jesuits understood very early on that the needs of our human family are deeply tied to education. Since the second half of the 16th century, they have traveled to the most underserved corners of the globe to establish schools, colleges, and universities. We don't often talk about concepts that are 500 years old in the context of the internet and disruptive technologies. But in the context of Jesuit education, such adaptations, such reimaginings, are part of our history, our, our, our DNA. The role of imagination in our work has been integral from the start. A defining aspect of the tradition that guides Georgetown. And all that we do is this focus on the imagination. Of course, imagination is not unique to the Jesuits. In this very room, we have some of the most imaginative minds in research, edu education, and technology. In fact, the Internet2 community Research and education leaders, universities, and affiliated organizations help to build the internet. Today, you are creating advanced networks and technology that have the power to turn imagination into reality, and so many of you are making a difference. My hope is that all of us, our organizations, and each of us individually can collaborate even more to deliver education at the margins. While each of the organizations in this room and each of you individually will come to this work from different missions, different founding principles and traditions. What is so inspiring is that we all can come together in a shared goal to increase access to education for those most in need. I think you're